All right, guys, it's been a while since I've had the Citizen Bullhead design on the show, and I have to say big thanks to Richard and the crew at Saltzman's Rhode Island. Link in the description as well as a discount code now that you can let them know that I sent you, and you can also save some money. So this guy right here is another limited edition. There's quite a few limited editions of these bullheads. This is the, can you read that? AV0072-01X. Retail price eleven ninety five. You're not going to pay that. You're going to get a discount, um, and I'll have a direct link down below as well as dimensions and all that good stuff. So, but as we cover them verbally, let's look a little closer, shall we? It's clearly a gold toned case, probably IP coated. That's uh, the standard finishing for a lot of these watches. This is a forty four and a half millimeter wide watch. The lug to lug, I measured the case at forty eight millimeter. The thickness. Although it's thick, it's not insanely thick. 15.4. It's still thick. I'm not saying it's not. And you have a 6 millimeter crown here and up here and double pushers. So why do we have so many crowns? This is using the EcoDrive Quartz Solar Driven movement called the E210. It's, it's in a lot of different watches from Citizen in different configurations. Meaning that if you turn this, you can put the chronographs over here. Or you can turn it over there and put it as a Destro. I don't know if they have a Destro one or not. So it's just the orientation of the movement and then the dial with the subdials configuration that will uh, change the way the layout is. So here we have the chronograph hand running. You can see it there. That's because I already pushed that button before I even started the video. This crown up here is how you're going to set the time and the date. And this will be your start stop and then this will be your reset. This crown down here is to set the alarm. This little pointer here is your alarm hand. And then if you push this in, it'll either turn it on or off on this little lever here. So you have your running seconds over here. Then you have your minute counter. And then you have your 12-hour counter for the chronograph. And then over here at the 9 o'clock subdial, you have your power indicator. It's showing at full charge. Now if we zoom in a little bit closer... You'll see the way the markers are done are diving board style, but a high dive at this time because they are placed way up on top of the chapter, kind of tied in with that tachometer ring up at the top. And then there's a chapter leading down to the sub to the main dial, and then you have recessed subdials. So a very interesting layout there. Gives it a lot more depth, which is nice because you have the real estate to do that, meaning the up and down real estate because this thing is over 15 millimeter thick. But very good, clean, taste, tasteful looking, uh, but yet, you know, gold tones and everything with the black really works well. Sapphire crystal, single domed, so you have that, like, distortion right away, and it's chamfered, and it sits just proud of that black bezel. On the back, you'll see, basically says, don't come in here, leave it alone. If this needs work, send it in. There's only 3,000 of these, and they are numbered. So if we stop the chronograph, very snappy feel to it. I think I'm a little too close here. Let me zoom back out. Right there. And then when we reset it, everything will just snap back. It just instantly snaps back, resetting it all. And then to turn the alarm on and off, you just push this in. That's off. That's on. Let's go ahead and put it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. I've owned some of these in the past. They're actually pretty dang comfortable. Some of them were titanium that I had before and they do, some of them come with bracelets. So there's a lot of different colorways, a lot of different configurations, but whether it's on a bracelet or on leather or a you know, rubber strap or something like that, it's, it's not a strap that you're going to be able to go change. It's like kind of integrated, like it's proprietary. But it's super comfortable on wrist because the way the crowns and the way the case is shaped and everything, it just wears really good. Even though it is very proud, meaning like 15.4 millimeter thick, um, there's no way around that. It is actually thick. That's just the way it is. This one has a butterfly kind of style deployant and a nice leather star strap, all matching. Let's give it a quick blast with the UV light. Let's turn off the studio lights and see how well this thing glows. Citizen does 
typically a pretty good job with their loom, and that is definitely the case here. Plenty bright with the markers, those diving board markers, and then the hour and minute hand, which is really all the information you actually should need in the dark. Thanks for watching, guys, and tell the crew, or just use my discount code below, but if you want to call in or visit Saltzman's Rhode Island, tell them I sent you. Richard will help you if he's not available. The entire staff there is great. I've met most of them, if not all of them. They're great people. I'll see you guys on the next vid.